this short video, we are going to show you how to troubleshoot uh, electrical problems that you may have uh, with uh, your car. Now, this video applies to any car, but in this particular case, we do have a Toyota Prius, which uh, many people are confused uh, because they uh, don't understand what is the regular battery, what's the uh, hybrid battery. So I'm going to show you here the differences between the two batteries. First of all, in the, if you open the trunk, there is a storage and underneath the storage is the spare tire as you can see here. And right in front of the spare tire, there is a metal box that goes from one end of the car here to the other end. This is the hybrid battery. This is what makes the Prius unique and makes the Prius a hybrid. This is where storage, electrical storage is stored and used to move the car. In addition to that battery, there's another battery, the regular battery, like any other car. It's called the auxiliary battery in Prius, which is located to the right. Uh, as you look at the trunk from the back and it is under this cover here if you remove this cover underneath is the auxiliary battery this is a 12 volt battery and it is used to power everything else in the car it's 12 volts and it has two poles like any other battery as a positive, which is shown here in red, it's covered, but it's right underneath here, and the negative pole, which is attached to the body of the car with this wire. In this video, we're gonna show you how to test uh, for uh, shorts or uh, leakages that may exist by various car systems, which in turn, they may have uh, drained the battery and you may and if the battery is drained you may not be able to start your car in order to test for shorts in the car what we're going to do we're going to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery which is attached to the body of the car as you can see here this is you see this particular is the negative terminal of the battery and it's attached to the body of the car with this screw here. So we're gonna break that, we're gonna disconnect that and connect a, our uh, test meter in, uh, in between so that we can make some measurements and find the shorts. What I have done in this case to make my life a little easier, I have taken a regular extension uh, wire that we use at home and I strip, I cut it and I strip the two ends. And what I did, I connected one end to the battery pole or to the wire that comes off the battery pole. And the other end, I used the screw that uh, attached the pole to the body and I attach the other end of the wire to that screw as you can see here now the other end of the extension i took a multimeter that you can find in any store for less than 20 dollars today less between 20 or 30 dollars and i put the probes of the meter in the terminal in the uh, extension did all that I put the cover of the trunk back up and uh, now my wire is connected there and I'm ready to begin doing my tests. Um, why did I do that? Why did I put this long extension? And the reason I did put this long extension is because as you're going to see I'm going to take this wire with my multimeter and move to the front of the car because 
the reality is that all the fuses they are in the front of the car they're right here to find out what may be short and is uh, draining the battery of your car or creating other problems you may have to start pulling the fuses there's a fuse puller attached uh, to the box and it's right here in this area which I took it and you can start pulling one fuse after the other and while you're doing that monitor the meter which you have right next to you to see if there is changes in voltage under normal conditions the voltage I'm sorry the the current should be zero but uh, when you open a door or you activate something there is a supervisory circuit and the circuit wakes up and there is some current uh, being drawn from the battery which you can see in the meter after a few seconds that uh, the, the system settles and the current should go down to zero if it doesn't while the car is off and everything is off that means that uh, something is uh, left on and something is malfunctioning or something is left on something might be shorted and you will see that uh, current is drawn uh, and you will be able to see that in the meter I said before the fuses in the Prius are in the front right as you can see from the car they're in the front and the right there's a box you have to remove the cover now the box if you look at the box underneath it has a description as to what each fuse is for uh, it's a brief description and uh, From that you can get a good feeling what uh, the fuses are for now in addition there are some relays in the middle about the middle of the car like this black box here has some relays and also there are fuses in the car uh, under the driver's seat If you look underneath somewhere in this area I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a box and there are fuses right above the uh, foot brake first start with uh, testing the fuses in the uh, in the engine compartment and if uh, that doesn't yield any results then start those underneath the uh, the, dri the drivers uh, the steering wheel because those are more difficult to access but uh, before you start uh, removing those you have to do uh, something else you have to there's a switch in the door uh, jam here and that switch controls the light the dome light the light on top of the car here and also there's another light that is down here which as you can see it's on uh, those lights draw current and you may, they might give you some faulty readings on your meter so what you have to do is get a clamp something like this or some other way to keep that switch uh, uh, open because when you let it go it closes and it also uh, lets the computer that the door is open there's a supervisory circuit that once something happens that gets activated and starts saying look your door is open okay I have everything set up my meter is connected and we are ready to start some testing if you had some something uh, leaking current or uh, shorted 
or something that was turned on even though it's supposed not to be turned on, the meter would be showing some current flowing. As you can see, this is a perfect car. It works properly. Nothing flows through from the battery. Zero current from the battery. Now let's do a test to show you something. I'm going to open the passenger door and close it. I have the wire going through, but I'm going to open it and then close it. That's going to activate the computer and the computer suppose oh nothing happened maybe my oh yes that's another thing my meter is disconnected disconnect the probe from my meter no electricity flows through from the battery to the car so the car is basically dead and what i did i removed the probe i tried to open the trunk door the door will not open so i have to reattach the probe in order to open the trunk door. I have to plug this thing in and look what happens to the meter. As soon as the probe is attached, electricity flows, wakes up the supervisory and it goes back to zero. So be aware of all these little things. Now let's try to open the trunk door. Let's see if the trunk door opens. Maybe it will, maybe it will not. Let's try this test. No, oh, it did. So, again, let's summarize what we did. We disconnected the negative terminal. And once you do your tests, it's very easy because now it's only one screw you have to reattach. You may want to, if you have a problem that you may not be able to solve the first time, because you might have an intermediate problem, you may want to leave this, this thing kind of uh, semi-connected, or at least uh, so that you, uh, you will be able to uh, conduct tests quickly. Leave this in your car, leave this in your trunk. What you have to do is just reattach the the negative to the car through only one screw. You may want to carry around a 10 uh, millimeter socket and with maybe an extension because this thing it might be a little difficult to put your socket in there. Uh, if you bring an extension it will bring this thing out here and you might be able to operate with your socket in this area. Uh, or if you have a short socket like I have that fits in there this is a short socket as you can see it's very easy and the other problem you're going to have when you disconnect power to the car you are going to lose uh, uh, last time I did that as a test I lost uh, my uh, uh, gasoline gauge the uh, gauge was uh, uh, blinking but after I drove the car a little bit he went back to normal and it was uh, okay. They and also the other thing you're going to have is the clock. I think this, I hope you find this video uh, helpful. Please leave some comments below. Thank you for watching.